Ironically, I don't have a good idea for a title. Item number, SCP-3725. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-3725 is to be contained in a standard humanoid containment chamber. SCP-3725 is to be given access to a composition notebook, writing utensils, a laptop with limited internet access, and books on the development of story and narrative ideas. Personnel interacting with SCP-3725 are to encourage story concepts thought of by it. SCP-3725-1 instances are to be incinerated upon manifestation. SCP-3725-2 is contained within the former apartment of SCP-3725. Attempts to access this apartment unauthorized are to be halted. Provisional Site-3725 has been constructed on Disappointment Island. Civilians attempting to access the island are to be deterred. No further works of SCP-3725 are to be published in any form or demographic. Description SCP-3725 is a 34-year-old amateur writer named Millard Carlton. At random intervals of time, SCP-3725-1 instances will spontaneously manifest within SCP-3725's left auditory canal. Footnote SCP-3725's left ear shows abnormal elasticity and durability, causing this to only leave minimal damage. SCP-3725-1 are sentient light bulbs attached to a tripedal base, connected to various springs and wires. SCP-3725-1 instances manifest in varying levels of complexity, with exact appearance differing between instances. The legs and springs of SCP-3725-1 are capable of rudimentary movement, and will exhibit behavior similar to that of crustaceans once removed from SCP-3725's ear. After the manifestation of an SCP-3725-1 instance, SCP-3725 will experience temporary symptoms of short-term memory loss. Despite not possessing a power source, the light bulb present on instances of SCP-3725-1 will flicker intermittently. This flickering is a repeating Morse code transmission that relays unfinished story concepts of varying genre. The complexity and completion of these concepts appears to directly correlate to the complexity of the SCP-3725-1 instance. SCP-3725-2 is a trash bin permanently affixed to the corner of SCP-3725's former bedroom, filled with copious amounts of crumpled paper. SCP-3725-1 instances placed inside SCP-3725-2 will begin to filter to its bottom, at which point the SCP-3725-1 instance will spontaneously transport to Disappointment Island, an island in the Auckland Islands archipelago south of New Zealand. Approximately 50 instances of SCP-3725-1 are currently present on Disappointment Island. These instances have constructed a crude theater stage out of nearby materials on the west shore of the island. Groups of SCP-3725-1 will occasionally perform plays similar in narrative as those transmitted via their light bulbs atop this stage, using sticks and foliage as rudimentary props. Other groups of SCP-3725-1 appear to watch these performances, and will periodically strike parts of their bodies together to simulate clapping. Addendum On March 30th, 1976, in order to improve SCP-3725's morale, a full novel written by SCP-3725 Footnote This novel was in production several months before SCP-3725's containment and follows a group of sailors lost in the waters of Oceania on a voyage to Hawaii. Was privately published and placed within various Foundation facilities. Shortly after, SCP-3725-1 present on Disappointment Island attempted to forcefully enter Provisional Site-3725. Due to the small size of SCP-3725-1, these attempts were not successful. Several other instances began to enter the ocean surrounding Disappointment Island in a presumed attempt to reach Site-275 on mainland New Zealand. These instances are believed to have been terminated by weather conditions and consumption by ocean fauna. One instance was then allowed access into Provisional Site-3725, during which it climbed a bookshelf and attempted to destroy an on-site copy of SCP-3725's novel with little success. Instance was then captured with a mason jar and removed from the premises. 
The novel was quickly removed from Foundation facilities shortly after, and abnormal behavior in SCP-3725-1 instances ceased.